your energy forecast for Monday, September 16th. Okay, so we have the moon in Aquarius energy going void, of course, at 1.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Pisces energy at 5.39 a.m., which, of course, catapults us into the full moon window. Of course, we've been kind of being drawn, pulled into this eclipse tunnel for pretty much about a week since, you know, September 11th, technically. Um, but we are definitely in the full moon window. We are going to start feeling a little bit cray cray, a little bit wackadoodle. The flood of emotions, the wave of emotions definitely going to be crashing upon us. And of course, it has been nice the last couple of days having the moon in Aquarius energy. It has provided us an opportunity to emotionally detach so that we can act as the observer, see things from a higher bird perspective, if you will, um, so that we can kind of see where it is that we're banging our head against a wall, where we're blocking ourselves and where solutions are actually coming to the forefront now that we are detaching, stepping back, creating some distance away from our situations, from our circumstances. But of course, with the moon moving into Pisces energy, we are going to be dropping down into the heart space, bringing up all of the feels. It is a full moon, so there is going to be a full illumination of some hidden emotions, some hidden information rising to the surface for our acknowledgement, for our integration before we let that shit go. There is an astral forecast out for this particular event. Again, if you have your Virgo season e-guide available, you're going to want to kind of flip to this particular section, really capture what's going on for you. And of course, if you want to do a deep dive, there is an eclipse edition special for this particular moon event, an hour and a half of doing a deep dive in your chart, exploring all of the different activations and what this is going to mean for you from now until 2027. So definitely dive into that if that's something that you're interested in. With that being said, Mondays ruled over by the moon, moon days, if you will, we're definitely being catapulted into a totally different perspective. We are going to feel the sensitivities rise. We do have new psychic abilities coming online with this particular moon event as well. But with eight different aspects popping off here today, seven of them only involving the moon, we are definitely going to explore if you will, some emotions that we're aware of and some emotions that we're going to become aware of as we anticipate moving into this releasing point. So with that being said, the moon still in this Aquarius energy going to get into the boxing ring, fight it out with its ruler, Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. A square highlights where we're going through some growing pains, where there's tension and conflict from the old version of self to really release the old and where it is that the new version of self needs to boss up, really take power and control in order to blaze a new path moving forward. Uranus being retrograde in this Taurus energy is all about illuminating where it is that we're desperately holding on to the old world, the old version of self, the old dreams, the old wants, needs, and desires to a disadvantage to the new version of self. We realize that we've outgrown it. We realize that we have no want, need, or desire to continue to keep some of these aspects alive, but the fear, the doubt, the insecurity of whether or not something better awaits us just around the corner is putting us in a state of paralysis. So the moon being an Aquarius energy, being a visionary, definitely looking at the futuristic version of our reality that we want to manifest, we do have to eliminate we have to purge, we have to release, we have to end, we have to close the door on some particular physical realm aspects, and that is what Uranus is trying to highlight. It is at this particular juncture that the moon is going to go void, of course, and while the moon is void, things are shaky, things are unstable, things are uncertain, and the moon is going to be making two positive interactions while void, which is going to work in our favor. The first one, of course, is going to be with Neptune, retrograde in Pisces energy at the 29th critical crisis degree. The second one is going to be Pluto, retrograde in Capricorn energy at the 29th critical crisis degree. So this is going to be a little bit of a inner realm empowerment. This is going to be a reminder, renewal, refreshment of the soul of the spirit of our intuition of our dream, our goals, our vision, what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to pursue, but of course be illuminated to the blockages, the challenges, the aspects of our physical realm, of our emotions, of our mental plane, and what is actually blocking us from getting to where it is that we desire to be. 
So as I previously mentioned, 5.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to feel that moon shift into the Pisces energy. And it is definitely going to be felt because we lock into that Pisces energy at 5.39 a.m. Again, Eastern Standard Time. We have zero action until 4.20 p.m. So a huge chunk of time where we're just kind of sitting in it. We're just letting the waves of emotion, of thoughts, of inspiration just crash upon us. 4.20 p.m., the moon in Pisces energy going to make a positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. So we are starting to think about our future. What it is that, again, we're living in la-la land with the moon in Pisces. We're moving into la-la land. We're moving into imaginary land. We are trying to construct a goal, a vision, a dream in our mental plane, in our heart space. We are starting to think about the moves that we now have available to us to kind of bridge the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. The moon is going to try and beautiful interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars in cancer energy. This is water on water action. We love water because it cleanses us, purifies us, renews us, refreshes us, it rejuvenates us, and it gets us a little bit clearer on what it is, again, that we have to remove, what we have to break away from in order to pursue something new. The only aspect that does not involve the moon here today is Venus. Venus is going to oppose, directly sit across from Chiron. So we have Venus in Libra energy, that's her rulership. We have Chiron, the wounded healer, retrograde in Aries energy, trying to help us out with this new version of self. Venus sitting across from Chiron, we're definitely going to be sitting in the funk of realizing what we no longer want, what we no longer want to experience, where it is that we have to cut some people off, cut some things out, where it is that we have to really focus on what is not bringing us happy, happiness, joy, or pleasure, what does bring us happiness, joy, and pleasure, and what we have to create more of. But we're definitely going to get a little bit weak, a little bit raw, a little bit vulnerable under this particular energy. And again, as we move into this full moon lunar eclipse energies, we can expect all of the darker feels to make an appearance. The moon is then going to semi-square Chiron. So again, emotionally speaking, we're bringing up all the feels. We're bringing up our fears, our doubts, our insecurities. We're bringing up where we feel a little bit raw and vulnerable. We're feeling a lot. That just happens with the moon in Pisces, let alone a full moon in Pisces, let alone a lunar eclipse full moon in Pisces. We have to expect there to be some discomfort some realizations on where it is that, again, we are avoiding dealing with our current circumstances, with reality in the way that we have to in order to bring some chapters to an end, to a close before we can pursue this new path, this new goal, this new vision, this new dream. The moon is going to make an awkward interaction with Venus. That is going to be the last aspect of the day, which again, going to highlight for us where it is that we're recognizing now while taking stock, taking inventory of our physical realms, where where it is that we're no, no longer attached, no longer connected to, no longer resonating with people, places, and things. This is going to be an elimination process. We are moving into a releasing period. And so we are going to have to get real raw and vulnerable with ourselves on who and what needs to stay and who and what needs to go.